Hey fluffy sweater people, so I have decided to do the quarantine tag and I'm going to have my phone read out the questions and I'm also going to put the questions in the description below if you guys want to do the tag because I tag anyone who wants to do the tag and then you can tag whoever you want to do the tag. So tag. <laughs> anyway, let's get started. One, what's the thing you miss the most? Um, the thing I miss the most. Well, I really miss choir. I miss my voice lessons. I really miss my church group that I go to on Monday nights, Bible study. I miss karaoke a lot, like a whole lot. I really miss karaoke. And I miss my Asperger's social group that I go to. I, I just, I miss having a normal life, <laughs> if you can call it that, because, well, I'm not normal. Who is anyway because I think that we're all weird so whatever but yeah I miss having a life Two, what do you wish you had done before the quarantine I wish I had gone to karaoke at least one more time but I missed a few weeks of karaoke because I got sick with a yucky cold and then I had a lot of crap that I had to do I had a lot of organizing that I had to do because we were having the floors done up here we were having the carpet taken out and replaced with laminate floors, so I had to put things away in lots of boxes. So I, I basically was quarantined before the quarantine because I was too busy doing stuff. Three, what's the first thing you will do when it's over? I will give all my friends big fluffy sweater hugs. All of my friends that I see in person and I am going to go out and have fun at karaoke or maybe go out to eat and I am probably going to cry when I see my friends again in person because I miss them and I just I miss having a life I, I just I really miss it I really really miss it I, I really do and I miss my friends and I miss I just I miss seeing people around me and I remember a few weeks back you know when my uncle came over for you know for our you know he he had to take care of something my uncle came over and I actually started crying because it was good to see people again because the quarantine was getting to me and I think it's getting to all of us you know Four. what's the hardest part about social distancing well like I said I miss my friends I miss not going out places and having fun and doing my normal stuff I like I like I said I miss it that and the fact that you know when I do go out and when I go out it's just you know to get my allergy shots and that's it having to put on a mask you know it's it's kind of it's kind of hot you know it's hard to breathe in a mask I mean it's not impossible but it's hard and it makes me look even scarier than I already do. I'm just joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Relax. It's a joke, not a penis. Don't take it so hard. Five. Describe your mood in one word. Um. Meow. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't know. I guess my mood right now is uh. Meh. <laughs> I don't know. I can't describe my mood. Weird. My mood is weird, as always, because I'm weird. So, whatever. <laughs> Six. Spotify or Netflix? Um, I would prefer Netflix because, well, Spotify is really difficult for me to use. I, like, I just have no idea how to navigate it. It's too much, too advanced for me. And Netflix, although I don't really watch it that much, I do like it. But I will say that I have been watching a lot of Disney Plus lately. And... If I had to choose a, a music platform, it would actually be iTunes because for me, iTunes is so much easier to use than Spotify. So yeah, um, for me, iTunes and Disney Plus. So yeah, I'm just gonna break the rules there and just give my own answer. So there. <laughs> Seven, the last two you played. It was uh, Glee's version of Torn by Natalie Imbruglia. Oh my gosh, Leah Michelle sings that so well. She has, 
an incredible voice. I love Leah Michelle. She could sing the phone book. I just, I love her. 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 I love Leah Michelle. She's incredible. Last show you watched? Well, it was last night. I was watching Disney Plus, and I watched an episode of The Proud Family. That's such a good show, and it's funny too, and it's just—it's an animated show, and it's—it's it's awesome. I mean, if you've never heard of the Proud Family, but if you have Disney Plus, I would definitely check it out. It's—it's it's so good. But I mean, come on, who hasn't heard of the Proud Family? <laughs> but if you haven't, I'm not gonna judge you. In fact, I'm just gonna recommend that you check it out because, well, it's awesome. And I need to stop talking and answer the next question. But then again, I can't answer the next question if I'm not talking. Okay, shut up. <laughs> Nine. What is your quarantine ritual? Uh, my quarantine ritual is to get up, pee, eat, do whatever, um, pee some more, do whatever some more. I don't know. I just, I just do whatever I feel like, I guess. Um, record songs, write my stories, um, just anything, you know? I don't really have a ritual. Just I just do whatever I feel like doing. And obviously tickling myself with a fluffy sweater. I mean, come on. I love to tickle myself with fluffy sweaters. <laughs> Neither, because I hate wearing pants because I have sensory issues. So I actually prefer to wear skirts or dresses. And right now I'm wearing a very comfortable skirt. Oh my gosh, it feels so comfy and nice and loose and spacey and roomy and soft. And I'm also wearing a sweater because it's so fluffy and soft. <laughs> Well, I want to make more videos, record more songs, write more stories. I want to write more songs. I, uh, I want to grow this new YouTube channel. I, I want to make a video explaining more about this channel, why I started over. I, I explained that on my old channel, but I'm, I'm going to make a video sometime explaining why I started over. You know, and I'm gonna put it on this channel too and I want to make an actual channel trailer because the one that I have put up is out of date but I needed to put something up but anyway yeah I I want to I want to you know basically grow this new channel write more stories write more songs work on my album just and I want to tickle myself with more fluffy soft sweaters too well What's your favorite quarantine snack? Chips, chips, glorious chips. Oh my gosh, I love chips. Uh, popcorn. I like strawberry cheesecake flavored yogurt. I like these nuts. I'm just joking. <laughs> but seriously, I like, I, th I think my favorites are chips and popcorn because I like salty goodness. 13. What scares you the most about quarantine? Well, I mean, it's not the actual quarantine that scares me, but it's it's the disease. I mean, me personally, I am not really afraid of getting coronavirus. I actually may have already had it a few months ago when I had that nasty cold. It might have actually been the coronavirus because it was a lot of the same symptoms and everything. But what does scare me is losing someone that I love to the coronavirus. I know that you know, if you get it, chances are you're going to survive it, but if you have a compromised immune system or other underlying, un under whatever that word is, health issues, you, um, you know, you're at greater risk for, for dying from it. And I do know a couple of people who have lost loved ones to the coronavirus and my heart goes out to them and thankfully... I have not lost a loved one to the coronavirus, knock on wood. <laughs> I just really don't want to lose anyone. But I mean, that's the only thing that really scares me about it is losing a loved one. 
and you know, you know, because no one wants to lose a loved one, and especially like right now. But other than that, I'm, you know, the, the quarantine doesn't really scare me. You know, it's nothing that really scares me about quarantine. It's, it's, it's the risks. Quarantine. What are you reading in quarantine? I have actually been reading a lot of Lord of the Rings fan fiction, a lot of Gollum and Smeagol based fan fiction, and some like some fan fiction about Sam and Frodo too. I I really love reading these these fanfics. I especially just, I love these stories that people have written about giving Smeagol a second chance. You know, I um I don't like I don't like the mean spirited parodies about Smeagol. I think that those are just cringeworthy and I'm like, I, what the heck am I reading? I don't like this. I like when they give Smeagol a, a second chance. I like those the wholesome stories and, you know, the stories that are just pure or just, you know, heartfelt and beautiful. And I'm also like, I'm also writing my own Lord of the Rings fan fiction as well. And I, um, I will definitely put it up um, in a in a video link when I have finished the entire series. So, yeah, I've been reading and writing a lot of Lord of the Rings fan fiction. Fifteen. Who was the last person you spoke to? My grandmother, because I live with my grandparents. So, um, they were the last people that I spoke to. Um, at least in person. Online, it was my friend Alonza, and and also my friend RP and, and Shayna. You know, my friends online, so yeah. 16. What is one non-tech item that you can't live without? Okay, I'm gonna break the rule and list more than one, because there's just no way I can just choose one. I mean, but yeah, I'm gonna break the rule because, well, I'm 32 years old, I'm a grown-up, and I can do what I want. But anyway, um, first of all, you know that I cannot live without my fluffy sweaters and fluffy sweater blankets. But I also cannot live without my Gollum and Smeagol action figures because they're just so special to me and I just love them so much. and. They're just wonderful and so sweatery, and I am just totally being shamelessly autistic right now and just showing off some childlike qualities of mine, just being a little girl right now. And you know what? Go ahead and laugh at me, because at least if, you know, if you're laughing at me, at least I'm entertaining you because maybe your TV is broken or something. <laughs> but no, seriously. I, I've, I've got to say, I have really, like, I've been getting through this with, you know, with Gollum and Smeagol and fluffy sweaters and all that good stuff, and so yeah, those are the non-tech items I cannot live without. <coughs> I also cannot live without burping. 17. What is your battery level at? Uh, let me see. 57%. It's at 57%. Perfect. More than half. Yay. But I do wish that it was at 69, just because 69 is a funny number. <laughs> and I have issues. 18. Are there any silver linings to your quarantine experience? Yeah, I mean, there's plenty, because, um, like, the biggest one for me... I have so much more time to do the things that I really want to do. I, you know, like I said, I want to grow this channel. I want to record more songs. I want to write more songs. I want to write more stories. I want to, I don't know, I just, there's a lot of stuff that I want to do and I have so much more time and that is awesome. You know, I've, you know, I've been wanting some more time as much as I really, like I said, I really, really, really miss choir and voice lessons and Bible study and karaoke and my Asperger social group and I just, you know, I miss my normal life but at the same time I love having so much time. It's so awesome. You know, that that is definitely my silver lining for 
the quarantine experience because I've been wanting to have more time. But anyway, so that is the quarantine tag and I'm going to put the questions in the description below and anyone who wants to do this tag, please feel free to do it. And if any of you are going through a hard time during this, like if maybe you have a loved one who is hospitalized because of this or you've lost a loved one because of this stupid virus, which I would really love to throw off the edge of Mount Doom into the fiery chasm below, quite frankly. If you've lost a loved one or you are scared of losing a loved one, I am definitely sending out sweater prayers and sweater hugs for you guys. And, and I really hope that anyone who is sick out there, I hope that you get better. And, you know... I, I, you know, I don't think that this is going to last too much longer because, I mean, they're, they're already coming up with, you know, drugs and, and medicines to, you know, to help reduce the symptoms and make it, you know, just basically shorten it and, and they're working on the vaccine and I'm just, I'm, I'm really excited for it to end. I, I really do want it to be over. I mean... I want to finish my projects first, but then I want it to be over, but, you know, it'll be over soon. You know, I, I know that it's cliche, but um, I remember like a Reba McIntyre song called Walk On, and there's a line that goes, nothing ever stays wrong that long. And you know, that's, that's so true, like, um, bad stuff doesn't last forever, you know? I don't believe that nothing lasts forever because me being, you know, you know, me being a Christian, spiritual Christian, I guess you could say, I believe that God lasts forever. I believe that real love lasts forever. I believe that real friendship lasts forever. But bad things, I really don't believe that bad things last forever. And this is not going to last forever either. And. Things are going to get better and life's fluffy soft sweater is going to tickle again. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this and I will be uploading another music cover on Monday and then a mental health video on Wednesday and a vlog on Friday. And I do need to make a couple of bonus videos, you know, because every now and then I do want to make a bonus video. So yeah, um, stay tuned for my bonus videos as well. Anyway, big fluffy sweater hugs. Bye.